Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelley. This week we are curious about honeybees. We will discover what they are collecting from flowers and why they do a waggle dance when they return to the hive. Have you ever wondered why honeybees love flowers? Well, flowers provide them with food. The flower's nectar is used by bees to make honey. The flower's pollen is used to feed the larvae, or the young developing bees. It is the job of the worker bees to gather from the flowers. They will take the nectar and pollen back to their colony which is a community of bees. Worker bees are always females. The worker bees drink the nectar through their straw-like mouth. Pollen is collected in a sac-like structure on their legs called pollen baskets. The pollen also sticks to their body. As they travel between flowers, they take this pollen and leave some behind to help pollinate the flowers. Bees are some of the best pollinators. Way to go, worker bees! Then, back to the hive they go. The worker bees regurgitate the nectar, which will turn into honey, to feed the bees in the colony. The pollen will be mixed with the nectar to make Bee bread! That's to feed the larvae. But what about that waggle dance? The waggle dance is how the worker bees communicate to one another to spread the news of the location of those wonderful flowers. When they dance, the direction of the dance tells the other bees the angle the flowers are to the sun. That is very important. The other thing the bee will communicate to the other bees is the distance they will need to fly. A short waggle dance means the flowers are nearby. A long waggle dance means they are further away. Those other worker bees are watching carefully the waggle part of the dance is the back and forth motion the bees make as they're dancing. The bee will repeat the dance over and over to make sure the other bees know exactly where the flowers are. Those worker bees are definitely busy bees and that waggle dance is amazing. Now it's time for an activity. Choreograph, which means to put dance moves together, in this case, to make a waggle dance challenge. But before that, be creative. Use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have to draw a flower. Make it however you want to. Now, take your flower and find a good hiding place. Time to gather your friends and family to explain the different moves in your waggle dance. Don't tell them where the flower is hidden, though. You're just explaining what each part of the dance means. Tell them the direction you are facing is toward the flower. Also, the length of the waggle dance will help them decide how far away it is hidden. Tell them you will circle around and repeat the dance. Add to your waggle dance. 
Perhaps tell them jumping up and down means they have to go upstairs. Or turning around in circles means the flower is under something. You make up your own version of the waggle dance any way you want. Time to perform. Don't talk though. Let them figure out where the flower is hidden. Who will find it? Hey, a honeybee. I told you they are the best at waggle dances. Way to go and always stay curious. <laughs>